The Japanese government has conducted an enormous nuclear decontamination program in Fukushima. As a result of the nuclear accident, large areas of the prefecture were contaminated by radioactive fallout. What the Japanese government is trying to uh, communicate is that these areas are now safe to return to. The problem is the decontamination is very limited. Uh, a very small fraction of the total land surface has actually been de decontaminated. The forest, which consists of about 70% of Fukushima Prefecture, can never be decontaminated. But the program that they've actually conducted has created vast amounts of nuclear waste. This is just one of over 146,000 locations across Fukushima where nuclear waste is currently being stored. Over 13 million cubic metres of nuclear waste has been produced so far, with a total of 30 million cubic metres expected if the Japanese government continues its decontamination programme. There's no solution to that nuclear waste. Some of it is going to be incinerated, but the large amount of it is likely to be stored in these areas near the Fukushima plant over the years ahead. Already in 2017, there have been tens of thousands of nuclear waste transports, with projections of hundreds of thousands of transports each year moving through the towns and countryside of Fukushima. And yet the Japanese government is saying to people of Fukushima, it's safe to return to these areas. The government's policy of effectively forcing people back to live in a nuclear disaster zone is clearly a total disregard for the human rights of Japanese citizens.